This trail is so muddy. Oh my word. I'm desperate to get this overlook. <laughs> I've seen river views all day. I want like an actual overlook now. Someone over there just slipped in the run. And this is like way too deep. I don't know if I'm really the process. This hike might be a bust. Yeah, we got about 5.2 miles to the parking lot. Let's do it. What's up guys? So today we are in the Shenandoah Valley, just outside of Shenandoah National Park, and we're we'll hiking in the Shenandoah National Park. And we are at the overall run trailhead off of the Thompson Trail. We're gonna be hiking up to the overall run falls. So we are at the parking area, which is a little sketchy because there's only room for like 10 cars and there's like a bunch of no parking signs. Uh, so we sort of squeezed in and everything, so we're all good to go. But we had a big group, there was like a big group that just left. So we're probably going to be seeing a lot of people on the trail today. But this is going to be about a five mile hike. Uh, we're going to see a nice waterfall, a nice view too of the Masson mountain range. We'll gain about maybe 1,400 feet. It's supposed to be extremely steep right before the waterfall. But we're going we're gonna to get on the Thompson Trail for about a mile. And then we'll hit, and then we're going to turn left on the Tuscarora Trail for the remainder of the way up to the top. And then we'll turn around and head back. So we'll just be an island back hike. So yeah, let's do it. So we are starting out on a road for a bit and then we'll hit the trail head soon. I'm not sure how long this road walk is, maybe about, maybe a quarter mile or so. So I am wearing a full pack because since it's the new year, 2021, it means it's time to start training for Philmont. Because this summer, my troop and I are going to Philmont. There is a uh, conditioning hike uh, next week that I might film. You guys will see Garrett, Hayden, um, Justin, Matthew. I don't know who else is going, but I mean, you guys have seen Hayden. But Garrett, uh, Matthew, Justin, you guys have seen them in like over a year. So yeah, the OG crew is back. You'll see a lot of them in the coming months. All right, so now we're on the trail. It rained a lot yesterday, so it's gonna be a muddy trail, but that probably means the waterfall is gonna be flowing a lot better than it normally does, so that'll be good. All right, we are officially entering Shenandoah National Park. Tuscarora Trail point three, overall run trail one mile. So we just got on the overall run trail slash Tuscarora trail. And you can see the run down there, flowing pretty good. Wow, it's beautiful. But yeah, we're gonna continue, continue on this for probably next, maybe one to two, one half to two miles or so. There's actually still some snow left over from uh, a snowstorm like a, a few days ago. There have been a lot of blowdowns on this trail so far. <laughs> a lot. There's probably been maybe like Six or seven I've gone over so far. Oh, if I cross this, oh boy. 
What do you have there? Jeez, this is this is the problem with the road being high. That's hard to cross. This is ridiculous. So someone over there just slipped in the run. And this is like way too deep. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cross this. This hike might be a bust. If it hadn't rained yesterday, maybe it actually would have been it actually would have been crossable. Oh man, this isn't good. Not good. Yeah, I thought Jeremy's run in 2017 was bad. And we, we, and we have to cross this river again too. We do. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't. I that was the thing I didn't think about when we chose this and had to cross the creek. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check out Sam. Yeah, I think we may need to turn back. I didn't want to see that one anyway. So. Well, we'll, have to, we'll have to do this hike when it's let. It doesn't rain before. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be good for the waterfall, but I yeah. don't know about the creek. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to turn back. So this will end up being like a three and a half mile hike since we're like already a mile and a half into the hike. So this will be like a three mile hike. Uh, so we're going to, we're heading back and then we're going to go to Shenandoah River State Park, which is not too far away from here. So that stinks. I really wanted to see the waterfall and a nice view, but. That'll be a hike for another day. Yeah, we didn't see a way to cross the creek up there. So. Yeah, it's just FYI. Maybe, maybe you'll have better luck than us. But. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This trail is so muddy. Oh my word. I hate this. <laughs> this trail is really like a river. Golly. Alright guys, so we are in Shenandoah River State Park and right behind me is Shenandoah River. Is the Shenandoah River. This is the South Fork, but you can see the Mastun Range up there. So we're gonna be we're gonna have some lunch first and then we're gonna go on a short hike to a nice view of the Mastun range and uh, the Shenandoah River. So we're gonna have some lunch. We're at, the, we're at the picnic area, or one of the many picnic areas. There's like so many picnic tables. All right, so we just finished lunch and now we're gonna get started on a little hike. So we are, I think like here, I think. And we're gonna go up to this nice overlook here, which is probably gonna be like a two mile round trip hike. Like this area will be pretty flat and this is this goes on like a, this goes on like a ridge. So it'll be a little steep, but it's only like a two mile hike. And there's like no one at this parking lot. So which means we probably should, which means it's probably a really good solitude. So that'll be good. Cause we've seen a lot of people at this park today. So we're gonna get started on this hike. to the Longcat Ledge Trail, which is like nothing. Got a nice boardwalk here. All right, so we're at the Wallcat Ledge Trail and it started ascending immediately. I guess we have to get to that ridge, which is up there. We have to get all the way up to there. That's gonna be a fun climb. Got about 0.2 to the viewpoint. Oh man, look at this tough uphill. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this is a pretty steep climb. After we made that this that pretty tough ascent now we're descending into this little goalie and then we're we'll be heading back up again. Ugh. I'm desperate to get this overlook. <laughs> I've seen river views all day. I want like an actual overlook now. Yeah, I think we made it. Look at this guys. Wow, what a payoff. What a payoff for this view. 
Holy moly. So you can see Shannon Ashton Park over there, Shenandoah River South Fork, and then the Mastodon Range. Wow, that is beautiful. So uh, I don't know if I can figure out where the exact location this is, but um, above, so you have the Mastodon Range here, and then right behind it, there's a nice little taller than that, and that's a little crease mountain. And Hay and I backpacked up to an overlook on the near that area that overlooks where we, that overlooks where we're looking at right now so I, was, I think we, we were this overlook was somewhere along in here um but hayden if you're watching this that's where we were if you guys want to check out that video the link is in the, my description below we're gonna start heading our way back down but yeah this view is well worth the effort all right guys so we're done with that hike our final plan for today is we're going to stop by Kohler's Overlook, give that a quick look, and then we'll be done for the day. All right, so we are at Kohler's Overlook. Wow. Wow. This is really nice. So Shaw Gap is down there. Where Hey and I backpacked was up in there. And down there is the jaggedy Masson Ridge. All right, guys. So that was Kohler's Overlook. So that brings us to the end of the of the video. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed that fail on the overall run, and then ending it with a nice view. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.